If you'd like to fine-tune a layout, double-click on the spread to enter the designer view. Here, you can customize the layout in a few ways. With the selection tool chosen, simply click on an image and drag in order to move it. To resize, grab an edge or a corner of the image. To maintain the proportions of the image, hold down the Shift key as you resize. By selecting multiple frames, you can reposition and resize them at the same time. To make sure the position and size of the frames are pixel perfect, you can use the spinners at the top. While making your changes, make sure that none of the images fall outside of the green line, which indicates the safe zone provided by the print lab you chose. Going outside the safe zone may result in poor printing of your album. As you reposition and resize the frames, you will notice various smart guides that assist you in making a perfect spread. Let's go through what each smart guide does. The pink guides help you center the images on the spread. When you see a horizontal pink guide, it means your image is vertically centered. And when you see a vertical guide, it means the image is horizontally centered. And when you see both guides, you know that your frame is perfectly centered on the spread. In the same way, you'll see two pink guides appear when centering the image on a single page. Remember that these smart guides work with one or multiple images. So if you want to center a group of images, the smart guides will help you make sure the images are perfectly aligned. The thin blue smart guides help to align images to each other. For example, when the edges of two or more images are perfectly aligned, you'll see the blue guide along those edges. It also helps to center images in respect to each other. In this case, the blue guide will run through the center of the images. Or, if an edge of one image is aligned to the center of another image, you'll see the blue guides as well. The thick blue guide indicates when the edges of images are the same length. For example, if you resize one image, you will see the edge of another image light up with blue at a certain point. This indicates that the edges of the two images are the same length. If you see vertical blue lines, it means the photos are the same height. And in the same way, horizontal blue lines indicate that the photos are the same width. The yellow highlight that appears in between images as you move them closer to each other indicates the set gap. The gap between the images can be changed by clicking on the background of the spread and using the slider on the right. Let's say that you set the gap to 12 points. Now whenever you move an image closer to another, it'll snap to the set gap width and highlight the space with yellow. This guide helps you keep consistent spacing throughout your album, maintaining a great design. Let's move on to another toolbar function, the Image Frame tool. This tool allows you to add new frames to the design. If you'd like the frame to be a specific aspect ratio, right-click on the frame, select Convert to Frame Ratio, and choose one of the given ratios. Once the frame is drawn, insert an image by dragging it from the image browser on the bottom. You can also drag an image onto an empty area without drawing a frame first, which would also add it to the design. The text tool, of course, is used to add text. The available fonts are those that are installed on your computer. The basic options of bold, italic, and underlined styling are all here, including tracking, which controls how far the letters are away from each other. To change the color of a text, click on the color picker and choose your color. As in other design applications, the hand tool helps you to navigate around the spread. It is especially useful when used with the Zoom tool. To zoom in, simply click on the spread. To zoom out, hold the Alt key while clicking. You'll see the amount you are zoomed in at the top. To see the entire spread, right-click and choose Zoom to Fit. Or to see the spread at 100%, right-click and choose Zoom to 100%. You can also use the icons on the bottom left, allowing you to Zoom to Fit and Zoom to 100%. Keep in mind that as you zoom in close, images will appear blurry. Don't worry, nothing is wrong. The images displayed here are not the original files, but only the low-resolution copies. During export, the original full-resolution files will be referenced, and the images will not appear blurry on the exported spreads as they do here. Now that we've covered the toolbar, let's discuss a few other functionalities of the designer view. Let's say that you would like to put an image in the background. To do that, select any image on the spread, and resize it to fill the entire spread. Then, right-click on the image, choose Arrange, and select Send to Back. 
The Arrange menu works with layers similarly to Adobe Photoshop. Sending an image back will move it below all of the other photos. Now that you have the background set, you may want to lower the opacity so it doesn't dominate the design. To do that, click on the background and lower the opacity with the slider on the right. Note that at any time you can delete any of the frames by selecting them and pressing the delete key. It's important to note that while designing, by default you are seeing the spread the way it will look in the printed album. However, there is a hidden part around the edges called the bleed. You can choose to see the bleed by going to view and selecting bleed mode, or by simply clicking on the icon at the bottom left corner. You'll see that an extended area appears. This is the bleed area that will later be trimmed by your print lab after the album is printed. To avoid issues with printing, Smart Albums forces this area to be either fully filled with an image or left completely blank. When you bring an image up to the red trim line and let go, the image automatically extends to fill the bleed area. The same exact thing happens even if you are in normal view. You can see that the image gets enlarged as it gets brought up to the edge. We recommend designing in normal mode with the bleed hidden because this view represents how the spread will look in the printed album. This helps you design with the final product in mind. Finally, once you are done customizing the layout, you can return to the main view by clicking back. However, if this is a design that you wish to use in the future, you can save it to the template library by clicking on Save as Template first. This template will now appear as one of the template options when you use the same number of vertical and horizontal images on a spread. If you enter the template view, your custom designs will appear in yellow. Smart Albums prioritizes your custom designs so that they appear more often than the others. If you feel you've made a mistake, you can delete the custom design by right-clicking on the template and choosing Delete. If you have any questions about the designer view, feel free to email us at smartalbums at pixaloo.com.